Hi, I'm Roz. I'm the owner of So Much Fun, where I love to share my knowledge and enthusiasm for sewing. Right, now I'm just going to talk you through how you'd make this very popular apron that I sell regularly in my shop or I teach my students to make for themselves. Um, what we've basically got is a shape that is wide enough to come across the, the top of your chest and then round here and then just straight down at the sides. And then I choose to decorate it with an applique of my own design, although you could do your own design. And I do a heart and cakes because obviously I love cakes. Um, and that is sewn on by cutting the shapes out, putting a little bit of stiffener um, interfacing on the back and then sewing it on just like you would a patch. So again, I have sewn it on with zigzag stitch. I've also cut out for this apron, I've got a pocket. Now you could do a pocket of any shape that you like. So I've cut a pocket shape out. I've hemmed the top of it first by doing a double turned hem. And then I have sewn it onto the apron by turning the raw edges just under once ironing it first and then stitching it on. If it's a very big pocket, it's also advisable to do a stitch line down the middle. Then, to just finish off the edges of the apron, you want to first of all do your armhole, which is again a double turn, so you want to turn over your uh, edge twice, stitch that down on the sewing machine. Then at the top, Again, it's another double turn fold, but when you do this double turn fold, you're going to catch in your tape that's going to go around your neck. So you're going to fold your tape into that fold, around enough space, and then coming in on the other side. And then your stitch line is going to go all the way around, so you secure in your top tape. Then again with the side, it's another double folded seam, but you're going to catch your side in as well carefully and then make sure you flick it forwards when you stitch your seam together so it's lying in the right place for when you're tying it. And then just at the end you need to do another double folded hem to give you a nice neat fold at the hem. This is a fantastic project to practice your straight stitching. And of course, if you want to make everybody a Christmas present this year, you can make a personalised apron.